it because normally, normally, <laughs> the chemists at least try to walk, and we don't prepare the reading, the writing. Um, uh, okay, accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. accept. Okay, okay. So this is happening in a class of computational chemistry. Uh, I was delivering, and um, I, I was um, presenting something. And um, I forget to, to uh, because we, we have mixed learning, be, uh, learning. Uh, we have some students at home at the time, and I thought to, to, to make them particip participate to answer some questions. And then it appeared that I forgot to, to, to close the, the bid or the, the, uh, the, the answers. And then the answers are changing during the time we are discussing because uh, this, the students changed their answers. And at the time I, I thought about this because it probably is normal, but I thought about this, about this feedback, about this discussion. So I decided on my paper also to do some small review about feedback. So it's, I think it's all for it was for me uh, but also i think it's very can, can be useful and about critical thinking so my idea is to reinforce learning using this somehow these questions and the discussion with them um and uh, somehow reinforce the critical thinking because uh, normally the literature says that um uh, the, answer converge to a correct one, but in, the, in some of the cases converge to a completely wrong one. So the consensus was wrong. So it's why I'm discussing about this because uh, I also teach other classes like uh, chemics, chemics, chemistry and society and all this. And uh, I, I want to discuss this problem. But first things first, um, this, is, this picture is um, from Laurentius, um, the Voltorina uh, 1233 um, is a, a class on the university. And you, we think normally um, how to modernize, modernize things and all this, but okay, we can uh, discuss about most of these students are not uh, attending the class. Uh, some of them are sleeping um, and um, somehow um, the universities develop this, um, this form of teaching because they don't have online, of course. The books are at the university, the knowledge are university, so the students go there. One of my colleagues uh, on the conference said that now the knowledge is everywhere, so we don't have to go to university. But somehow the only universities are the people that create the jobs, that create the knowledge, so the role models and all this. So in some sense, uh, the, we are reproducing using new technology somehow the the knowledge and uh, the teaching universities this is a, a picture for me um, was on a congress um, in the in this month and uh, uh, there are some sessions um, and uh, i sneak it somehow the snack the session on the on the on the I was listening to one session and, and I, I was to, I want to listen to, to see the, the session in the other. So we, the technology offers lots of possibilities, lots of problems, of course, but lots of possibilities, but somehow the model was refined uh, uh, the, the, during hundreds of years. So it's, uh, it's difficult to improve it. Somehow, um, this, is a, this is a picture from a, a classical uh, article from Freeman et al. about active learning. Uh, we know, good teachers know empirically that uh, um, somehow the active learning, delivering uh, questions, uh, putting the students walk, uh, talking, all this is important. And th this study shows that the, um, you have to, to particip participate, to have much more success, success than we don't when we don't participate. In fact, uh, during due to the um, somehow the massification of the teaching on universities, uh, there are many many students don't participate in the activities. So um, they have somehow they don't do active learning. So they have problems. When the students have active learning 
they uh, do have much more success. So my idea is that when I have this um, discussion with the students, I thought, well, because it's kind of active learning because the students are listening and discussing it, but online. Uh, this is a book from Olson. Uh, uh, Olson. Uh, it's about uh, Lean. It's, it's a methodology on the um, production. Uh, but I find very interesting the, the the idea of how we learn somehow. We state uh, state hypotheses, we design, we test, and then we learn. So it can be a, a, a spiral or something. But the next is uh, I, I put it this uh, this uh, arrows because the feedback is very important when we learn when we make hypotheses somehow we discuss um there are some discussion about this about um about the students learning things but in fact the, the teacher are very important to somehow <laughs> uh, uh, put the students in the right way and serve as a role model so you have to have also this this kind of um, feedback okay this is a, an article from Ati and the group and i find this in this article very interesting about the feedback most of the feedback is positive but there are some feedback negative imagine of course in all you know the, the feedback, feedback negative like uh, the teachers say that you are not able, you have a bad mark because you don't study. And this is not good feedback. You have, you have to study on this, you have to make this or something, and this is a good feedback. Uh, my slides are, are, are very not, I don't know if I, I take the 20 minutes. This is an experience that I learned on this Congress. I was there uh, about the University of Groningen in Holland. And OK, much time. <laughs> OK, and this, this is rooms from active learning. I asked the, 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 the presenter how much people can put in uh, this active learning uh, classes and it's 100. OK, so 100 is normal because we have classes with 100. And, Somehow it's the same. You can put the, the shares like a lecture, or you can put the shares like uh, like you want. You have a uh, lots of sc screens, lots of internet, lots of possibilities, uh, things that and you can pick. So, so so they on the University of Groningen uh, found it very interesting. They decided that active learning is th their main job. If you think of all the universities. Active learning is also something that happened. People want to learn, so they study. They they talk with the, the, the professors. They talk with the colleagues. So this is, is active learning so in the sense. Okay, this is an, an article from Sandra Natal from uh, Frontiers in Psychology. I find it very interesting because it, it picked the Bloom taxonomy, but uh, somehow in the flipped possibility. Because the traditional way you, you explain the students and then the students stu study to obtain the high, high possibility is a Bloom technology and a Bloom uh, um, uh, stair somewhere. And they, they, they propose something different. You study at home and then you discuss with the colleagues. And so my opinion is, is we don't have this possibility or that possibility. You have a lot of possibilities now the technology can, can allow you much more possibilities. So you can, you can look at the traditional ways and discuss this, talk about this, and because there are some of the good experience are very good. So we can look at them and then we can learn something. And we cannot forget the, the old, the, the, old teacher, old, old way. I don't know, probably, you know, Bachelard and uh, George Luis Borges. And I was, George Lee Bosch, nobody knows him as a teacher, but he was a teacher at university and the students love their classes, love their classes. And he, the way he, he made the, the, the classes, for me is a good example, like Bachelard. Bachelard is, uh, everybody know Bachelard, but he delivered classes like lectures, talking, 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 okay. But the students can be inspired for him, okay. The, the active part is 
thinking, um, okay. Okay, this is, uh, I want to do it by, uh, by online, but somehow the, the base do not work. So I will ask personally, what is the biggest environment problem for you? You can listen. Is the global warming, the fossil fuel, the clothes or the plastics? The clothes, the plastics. The plastics. <laughs> okay, there's some consensus here, or you prefer global warming? <laughs> global warming, okay, okay. Okay, this is interesting, a way, the way that we ask the questions. The, the problem is, in fact, environment, uh, global warming. Fossil problems, fossil fuel is something that create the global warming. But somehow we, we make a problem, we say fossil fuels because we are thinking about global warming. Clothes have nothing to, somehow nothing to do with global warming and plastics. No. No, and the, the main problem, uh, 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 forgetting the global warming is fossil fuel, of course, the clothes come after and the plastics in the third place. Okay, but we can discuss this because first, what the, the students understand from students or the colleagues understand for what we are saying. Uh, uh, imagine we put in a test uh, uh, because global warming is uh, is a is a different um, category from uh, from the other three. Okay, this is more difficult. <laughs> the plastics in the ocean. I, I wanted to you uh, answered by mobile phone, but uh, somehow the pages don't work. The plastics in the ocean have concentration around 0 0.0000, okay, 0, 0, 1 gram per liter, or increase roughly um, 15 meter metric tons each minute, or are roughly in, um, okay, 50 trillion pieces, <laughs> or are estimated to be 200, uh, uh, um, uh, to, 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 uh, to 250 million metric, cubic, uh, metric tons. What is your answer? B. B, B, I, I won't B. <laughs> okay, it's finished. B, also B? B, 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 B. I think C is interesting. C is interesting. <laughs> Okay, okay. Nobody choose A. Okay, it's a, it's I'm, I'm releasing you. <laughs> okay, nobody choose D. Yeah, from the online participants are saying D. Okay. <laughs> I want to do this online because we can can see the answers on the on the screen. Uh, okay, the, the question is all are right. <laughs> all you can choose a b c d is all all right it, it depends on the way you look at the problem if you if you see the amount of plastic in the ocean you divide by the water you have this concentration is really really small okay you said there's no problem with the plastic in the ocean or if you look at um in the grease the plastic is like uh, two um uh, tracks of uh, uh, rubbish on each minute putting on the ocean. You, oh, this is very difficult. Or you, you can look at the pieces. There's 50 trillions of pieces. Oh, this is ugly. We have, um, or we, we can estimate uh, the, the amount of plastic in the ocean. Of course, we have to solve this problem. This is not, not this is not to uh, somehow to to, to make the problem uh, easier or somehow wash the problem. We have to solve the problem. The, the question is, sometimes we discuss things based on wrong ideas. So it's important to, to discuss them and to, to see all the possibilities of a problem. Okay, I finish. <laughs> this is... In our department, we have uh, these courses, and I have to acknowledge someone <laughs> that let me get, come here.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sergio. You.